is the main city of the Lago Maggiore. It has about 16,000 inhabitants. It's situated right on the lake and in the surrounding mountains and on the lake you have a wide variety of activities which you can do. But what can you do in the city itself? Let's have a look at our personal top 5 activities right in the city. Our number 5 Come down to the lake shore. Here you can take boat rides or you can simply relax in a park and taking in the scenery. Number 4. Watch the life passing by on the Piazza Grande. This is the Piazza Grande in Locarno. Uh, on this main square, once a year, there's a big film festival. It's very famous in Switzerland and also Italy. So it's worth coming during the festival. But just consider that the hotels are even more expensive at that time. I think it's always in late August. But check out on the internet, like the film festival Locarno. Coming to our tip number three, you must visit the Maggia Delta and the Lido in Locarno. A very, very short drive away from the city center, um, when you drive into the direction of the Delta, where the Maggia flows into the lake. Uh, Locarno has even its own beach. It's a public beach, so when you drive to the Delta campground, uh, just look for the sign which says public beach and then you can walk here. It's for free and it's quiet, peaceful, at least now in autumn, maybe in the summer it's full. But it's a really serene spot to take a dip into the Lago Maggiore. You can walk here for kilometers, like when you start in the delta, where I am now. Uh, you can walk into the Maja Valley. That's it's super nice. Even in summer, you can swim wherever you want. It's peaceful and it's pure nature. I highly recommend it. This is one of the things to do here. Number two, lose yourself in the old town, visit the castle, don't miss to have a vegetarian dinner or lunch at the Govinda restaurant. Locarno also has a castle which you can visit. Right behind me is the castle museum and I think also the rest of the castle can be visited soon. If you are in Locarno and you're looking for vegan and vegetarian food, 
Govinda, right here in the center, is the place to go. It has amazing vegetarian food. You can sit outside as well as inside. It's in a very atmospheric little alley. So check this out. I really can highly recommend it. And the number one thing, the most important thing, which you shouldn't miss while you are in Locarno, is a visit to the sanctuary of Madonna del Sasso. To reach the sanctuary of the Madonna del Sasso, you can either walk up the hill, which takes you about 40 minutes, or you can take the cable car, which is a very antique and rustic cable car. Madonna del Sasso is a very important pilgrimage destination which is on the devotional hiking route that links Camino de Santiago and the Via Francigena. This sanctuary is perched on a scenic rock spur with a breathtaking view of the lake. Madonna del Sasso is a place of pilgrimage founded in 1487 by the Franciscan friar Fra Bartolomeo Piatti from Ivrea as a result of an apparition here of the Virgin Mary. It is one of the most important historical and religious sites in Canton of Ticino. It really is a stunning sanctuary. There are lots of relics in there. So, very nice place and I highly recommend you coming here. It's peaceful, it's serene and you have a wonderful view over the city. We hope that you liked our 5 things to do in Locarno. If you don't want to miss any more videos of us, please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Hola mundo!